Show of hands in here, any guys wear makeup to work? No, 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 no. Every now and then I get one. Uh, there was like a half one there. We can talk later. I can give you some pointers. No, I, I bring that up because I wear makeup on TV. And I think the ladies would all know in this room that there's no way that that's my makeup. I'm not wearing a lipstick or anything like that. Uh, but high definition is pretty cruel to those of us on TV. So this isn't the makeup that I'm talking about. Uh, that makeup is skin deep. I'm talking about the kind of makeup that you here. The kind of makeup that makes up an organization. The kind of makeup when Marty talks about wanting to hire the type of person that he would want to come to his house for dinner, that's what I mean by makeup. So in 2014, the Royals signed a guy named Raul Baez. A little background on him for those of you that aren't baseball fans. Very successful career. One of the nicest, most likable human beings you could meet in any profession. Zero effort to try to get this guy on camera. He's as much of a sweetheart of a guy as you could ever meet. This was his second stint with the Royals, and he was at the end. He would end up in his final few months as a big leaguer hitting 188 with two home runs. That's not very good. But it was Raul Abanez in July of 2014 after the Royals had lost four games in a row. Keep in mind, this was a franchise that had not been to the playoffs since 1985. It's now 2014. They're young, they're maturing, and everybody is thinking this is finally the year. And they're on this big losing streak. And so Raul Abanez, as nice as can be, holds a players only meeting in the locker room in Chicago. And he looks all these players in the eye, in the eyes, these young guys. He says, you guys don't realize how good you are. You're better than anyone out there. I've got friends all around the league, and I can promise you this, no one wants to face you. We use that energy word again. He goes, we have better energy than anyone. We have better relief pitching than anyone. They're scared of us. You guys are better than this. They go on to win 27 of the next 32 games from that day on, from that speech. And a couple of months later, in the same locker room in Chicago, it's a Friday night, end of September 2014, the Royals are celebrating their first playoff worth in 29 years, and Raul Abanez was that proud father sitting back. But here's the thing, when it comes to culture, those of us like me that are on TV, the stars like Salvador Perez, they get all the credit. And the blame when things go wrong. But it's those people behind the scenes that end up being so key to who you are. They bring the makeup. They do the things that don't necessarily get the attention. But anyone on the inside will tell you, we can't do it without them. My crew on TV behind the scenes, I never will look as good, sound as good, be as smart without them. That's the same in any profession. And you win and you build culture with those makeup guys. I had the honor this September, best honor of my 24 year television career, of getting a chance to visit our troops overseas. I'd only ever missed one game on TV, so thousands of shows in 11 years here. And I left for a week. And I went over with George Brett and a couple other former Royals, Mike Sweeney, Reggie Sanders, and Brett Saberhagen over September 11th. I always wondered and heard messages from people overseas. Hey, I caught your game, you know, sending a tweet or something. I caught your game last night on the American Forces Network. So good to get a piece of home. That was awesome. And I'm thinking, that game was terrible. <laughs> we lost 13 to nothing and there was a rain delay, and that's when I realized that, wait a minute, Someone's always watching. What we do always matters. Even the smallest details. In baseball, it might be a game you're thinking, oh man, nobody wants to watch this anymore. Someone's sitting in a hospital bed. Someone is sitting overseas and, and you're making a difference in their life. So even the littlest things sometimes can make a difference. So here we are watching a Royals game with troops in the middle of the desert in Kuwait at three, four, five, six in the morning. Greatest experience of my life. And we visited different bases in our time there. And down on the bottom there, there's a bunch of Marines. We, we met of all branches. I got a letter home from a guy in the Air Force after we visited that base. We want to talk about makeup. We want to talk about behind the scenes. Everybody mattering? The letter said something along these lines. Thanks for visiting. You, you know, you, you've made such an impact on us. 
my unit here in the Air Force, we're the whatever engineering squadron. Without us, the base doesn't function. Without us, everybody's living in prehistoric times. If you want to picture something straight out of Top Gun, another great 80s movie, the pilots are the ones that get all the attention. The Tom Cruises, the Gooses, and the Mavericks are the ones that get all the attention. They were straight out of Central Casting. We, we met with them. Those Marines looked like they were straight out of Central Casting. They'd just come back from Syria doing who knows what. But without all that support, without the mechanics, without all everybody else, it doesn't get done. 